Do you want to know how to import live data in Excel for Mac using a Power Query? If so, watch and like this video and become a lad by subscribing. So the first step lads is to find a website where you'll be importing your live data from. For live forex markets I like to use the X rates currency website which I'm searching for right now. So once you're into this website, uh, what I'm going to do is go into the rates table, which is right here. And then a full table of every major currency and their live price will come up. And in this website, there's about 60 of them. So now what you want to do is click the website URL. And then copy this link. And then after that, you can shrink the Safari window. Okay, then open up Microsoft Word and create a new blank document. Now, all you have to do is paste this link we just copied into your document and hit save. Okay, so this next bit is the slightly complicated part. For this video, I'll save this document as live currency. And then what we have to do is to change the file format from a Word document to plain text, which is right there. And for this bit, I'll be saving the file in downloads, but you can really save it wherever you want. Click save. And then once you hit save, this, this weird file conversion window will pop up. Change the text encoding from Mac OS to MS-DOS. And under options, select insert line breaks. Once you've done that, click OK. And then we can close Microsoft Word. Now we have to find this file and change its file extension. So go into Finder, click on Downloads in the sidebar, and search up the file name. So for this video, our file name is Live Currency, but obviously whatever your file is, just search it up in the search bar. Once you've found it, right-click the file and select Get Info. And then a sidebar will pop up on your screen. What you have to do now is go over to the Name and Extension option, which is right here, and change the file extension from TXT to IQY. Then it's going to ask you if you want to change the file extension, to which you'll answer Use IQY. After this, we can close Finder. Next, go up to the menu bar in Excel and click Data. Then get External Data, which is down there. And then run Web Query. This will take you straight back into Finder into the Queries folder, but we didn't save our file in Queries, so we have to go back into Downloads and search for our file again. So I'm going to search up Live Currency, which is the file name. Once you see a file, click on it and then hit Get Data. I want to put the data from my file into cell A1, so I'm just going to select OK. And then the data from the website loads onto our sheet. Scroll down and you can see it's included every currency from the website's table. In fact, if you click on a cell, it's actually linked to the currency's page on the website we're importing from. So this is the US dollar to Euro. You can play around with the currency's historical data. And then of course you can do other things on the website once you're on there. Finally, um, what we're going to do now is go into the Data tab and then select Refresh All. So Data and Refresh All. This will actually refresh the data in our sheet according to what it is on the website, meaning we get a live feed of every currency's prices. So you can see the prices change. Scroll down and you can see all the prices have moved. Alright lads, to create our currency converter we first have to compile the data into a continuous data set meaning there has to be no row breaks in our list. So I'm going to copy the headers and because it's a relatively small list of currencies I'm just going to copy the ranges and paste them together like this. So equals the first range and that will spill into the below cells. And then we can equal to the rest of the currencies in this range here which will spill below. Double click the column to auto fit the text. And now we can do the same thing for prices, but instead I want to show you guys the XLOOKUP function. So our lookup value here is the currency immediately to the cells left. Absolute reference to column only. 
the lookup array is the full list of currencies we're um, searching in. Absolute reference both of those because that list will not move no matter what cell we're filling into. And the return array um, has to be the live price of that currency because that's what we want the formula to return. And so only absolute reference the rows there. Hit enter and up comes the price of cell B2. If we autofill that across, we get the correct price because of our absolute referencing. Double click the bottom right hand side of the cell to autofill down to the Venezuelan Bolivar, which we can see also remains correct. Now what we're going to do is uh, name this sheet currency data. And then now we're going to be creating our currency converter. So create a new sheet, name it currency converter. Also lads, big ups to the tech train whose currency converter video was the aesthetic model for my currency converter. That link to the video is in the description below. Uh, select all the cells in the sheet by pressing the square icon in the top left and I'm going to fill these with a light shade of blue. Uh, next merchant center cells up the top here so we can create a clear and bold header for our calculator which we're going to call currency converter. I'm just going to fill this space in with orange to make it stand out and I'll wrap this box in with borders to make it nicer. Next merchant center two big boxes in the middle of the sheet like this so just Select the cells and then click Merge and Center and it's going to merge all these cells together so that it creates one cell virtually. You can flick between the two there. And hold, uh, select the cells by holding down the Command key at the same time so uh, we can fill them in with white. Also Merge and Center two rectangles above this which are going to be where we select our countries. So to make a list of currencies to choose from in these two cells go into the Data tab and uh, right here is the data validation icon, which we'll click on. We want to allow a list of currencies, so go ahead and select list. And our source for this list will be the range of currencies in our other sheet. So type in equals and then select uh, this range of currencies here. Once you've done that, hit OK and then a drop down list will be created for both cells where we can choose any currency we like. I'll choose the Australian dollar and uh, the Swiss franc. I'm just going to size these currencies up in the home tab, about size 26. And I'll also put borders around these big white boxes. And remember to format different cells at the same time, hold down the command key when selecting them like I'm doing right now. Uh, change the cell format to currency and then select a random dollar amount for the first box. Three bucks. And command key and then so they can go in the middle of the cell. Now we'll use the XLOOKUP function again to come up with a formula to convert the Australian dollar to the Swiss franc. Start off with equals, then it's the amount in cell D7, multiplied by this XLOOKUP function where we can find the Swiss franc in the range of currencies and then return its price. So our lookup value is the Swiss franc and we're trying to find it in our list of currencies. So it's going to find the Swiss franc in this array and it will return its price so we'll make an array of its price okay once we've done this divide this by another xlookup function where we can find the australian dollar in the range of currencies like we did with the swiss franc and then return its price make sure for the lookup value though it's just cell d4 um, because sometimes when you click on Australia and it returns a range like it has now, D4 to G5, it uh, can spell some serious trouble for our formula and might return an error. So just type in D4 here, which is the um, top leftmost uh, cell in the, in the merged cells. And we can just copy and paste the lookup array and return array from the previous XLOOKUP function because we are still returning the currency's price and we're looking for it in the currency uh, list. So when you hit return on, on your Mac keyboard, you can see that three Australian dollars equals $1.91 in Swiss francs. We can push these cells out to four decimal places for a more accurate reading too. And the formula also works if we change currencies and switch up the dollar amounts. 
So we can go to the Argentine peso and we can change three dollars, change three dollars to zero, and zero dollars obviously equals zero bucks. Ten bucks equals one point one K peso. And finally to update this data, go into the data tab and hit refresh all, which will update the rate between the currencies to reflect live market prices from our power query. Subscribe lads.